let's talk about how to use this create IK button. We're back in our sweater arm, right? And we have our controllers and we're like, yeah, this is cool. You know, like I like it, but um, uh, maybe I want to try a different way of animating instead of FK, maybe I want to try some IK. Hey, I can help you make that happen. We're going to start by selecting these three controllers. Okay. And we're going to start at the very end with the wrist. So this is the thing we want to animate. And with IK, like the bend will happen automatically. You just need to pick the end point, okay? So we're gonna grab the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder. We're gonna hit create IK and there we go. So we now have this new bigger controller and you can select it down here. It has a little like suffix IK control on it. So now when you click and drag that, ho ho, the arm bends automatically. And I'm gonna reattach our hand cause creep me out. Um, there's some crazy, you know, math magic going on here to make this happen. But in short, you know, we kind of drag this endpoint, and these other two are set to rotate to keep the kind of same distance from each other. So you get this nice, um, automatic bend that doesn't break the rig and it doesn't kind of overly stretch or go, go super crazy. And then you notice it automatically bends this direction, but let's say you want to flip it and bend it the other direction while you have this IK control selected. If you look at the effects on it, there's a little checkbox called flip bend direction. You just check that and that'll flip the direction that the, the thing is bending, okay? And this is totally animatable too. So if you wanna like have the arm go like woo and then flip it to bend the other way or whatever because people break their arms like this, hey, go for it. Just hit the little checkbox and, and there you have it, okay? Now, uh, create IK, I've set this up. I'm gonna undo a lot here. I've set this up so that this script will work with just about anything. So it'll work with vector, it'll work with shape layers, it'll work with Photoshop documents, um, whatever it is, this script can handle it. So this is a good uh, example of how to use it with artwork that has puppet pins on it. And you have to make controllers to do that and then set up the IK through the controllers. But you don't need to do that. I have this skeleton arm over here and I don't need it, you know, it's like three different layers. So we're not using any puppet pins or anything like that, no like deformers, but I still wanna use IK on these things here, all right? And to do that, it's even easier, okay? And remember that point about me not being very smart, just the easy stuff? This is a prime example of it. I, I work hard to make this kind of laziness possible, all right? So no controllers, um, just three different layers, and we're gonna set up IK. Okay, so step one and the most important thing is make sure the anchor point for each of your layers is where you want the bend to happen. So for instance, on the, on the mitten here, the mitten, the skeleton warrior's mittens, um, I'm putting the anchor point right here at the kind of wrist area, all right? And then the lower bone, I'm sure there's a name for these bones, but you know, my intelligence. Um, I'm putting the anchor point right near the elbow at the end of the bone where it would probably connect a bend Okay, and the upper bone, I'm putting it at the very top where the shoulder might be, all right? So once you have those set up, we're gonna do the same thing. So start with the end, the point at which you wanna animate, in this case, it's a mitten, and then we're gonna select that, then we're gonna select the middle one, then we're gonna select the one above that. We hit Create IK, and you'll see we have a controller down here, so just one controller to rule them all, and when we drag this around, we still get the IK bend, okay? So super simple, we don't need to create any other controllers, you know, just select three layers and make sure that their anchor points are in the right place and you can have IK set up immediately. Um, and this is, what I'm, this is what I'm going for, just like easy stuff, right? Okay, now as I undo a million things here, what else can we use this on? Well, remember we talked about in this new version of After Effects, we have access to uh, path vertices and stuff. So we can use IK on paths as well, all right? So in this case, we do have to create controllers because that's the only way to kind of get into this stuff. So I have this new path here and this is just kind of a regular path with like a stroke on it and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna select the path itself. I'm gonna hit create controllers and we got our little, our little things, right? And we're like, hey, that's cool. That works, that's great. Um, but I want IK on this. So we're just gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna select the end point here, then the middle one, then the beginning, create IK, and we get this new controller, and there you go.
So IK with a shape layer, you can change the bend direction. It's all the same um, and it works. And what's cool about this is like you can animate all this and then you can go in and you can adjust, you know, like your kind of like stroke thickness or, you know, like basically you can animate the shape layer while it's being deformed um, by these controllers, which is really, really awesome. Um, and like I said, that's that just opens a ton of doors to, to how to animate with shape layers, in, in my opinion. Um, continue to undo. Yeah, so that's that's kind of like a few easy ways to use IK, all right? Um, let's look at something a little more tricky. I have these uh, three kind of like illustrated spheres here, and these are just quick things that I made in Photoshop. Um, and like what I wanna do is set up an IK system here where you know these kind of spheres are all connected, they always stay connected, um, but I wanna use IK to do that. And I want these lines to connect them, okay? And these lines are also little like hand-drawn brush things from Photoshop. Um, they're really small, sorry, they might be tough to see. Uh, so this is an example of how to combine a lot of different things using IK. And also, you know, not everything has to be vector. You can use Photoshop and you can like draw your own things and still get this to work. Okay, so let's set this up. Um, step one is let's get the joints working. And by joints, I mean these, these kind of like spheres here. Okay, so I'm gonna select the blue one, then the green one, then the orange one. I'm gonna hit create IK, right? We don't need controllers. We're not doing anything fancy here, all right? So now we get our, our IK control and then we move it around. <laughs> we get this cool like invisible arm looking thing, right? Um, that moves like you can kind of you can kind of see what's happening there, but there's just no pieces connecting. Okay, um, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna solve that right now. So I'm gonna put this guy back. All right. So we have our basic IK set up. So let's figure out how to connect these lines um, and kind of stick them to, to each of the, the spheres so they they become the arm or you know the connector I should say. Okay. So we're gonna start with the second line, and I want this one to you know follow the blue, but also stick to the green here. So I'm gonna parent it to the green, okay? And then I'm gonna grab this other line and I'm gonna parent it to the orange, okay? So now we grab this control, we move it around. Aha, everything's behaving like we want it to, which is so rare, um, but this is kind of cool, right? So you can create your own crazy IK rigs using whatever kind of artwork you want. And you, know, you can have these connecting pieces um, and you can you can kind of build it any any out of anything you want you know like brush strokes um, these could be passed too you could animate them you could do kind of whatever you want combine a lot of different things so it's the the goal for this really is a let's make it super easy to use IK on on anything and b let's you know not limit it to just vector or just Photoshop like use them all together mix them up and and that's okay right so this is kind of a, a quick example of that. All right, and that's, you know, fundamentally how to use the script to create IK. Um, yeah.